Welcome everybody to ETG's Discover Turnkey Excellence event. If you're enjoying some food, if you are at the end of your meal, come over and have a little look because you're about to experience a 3D printing masterclass by Tom and Nathaniel. So this is the Mark Forged brand. So you've got ETG, subsidiary now of ETG is HK. And one of the OEMs of HK is Mark Forged. And we're going to be talking about 3D printing. I've been speaking to the guys and some of the reasons why you're going to invest in one of these machines is because you, you want to take some of the tooling off. So maybe some sticky jobs that are on those big machines and you're going to bring them across to these. So Tom, let's kick start with the first machine. Yeah, so this is the Mark II. It's a desktop-based printer. Um, it still follows the traditional um, fused filament fabrication style of printing, so building the part up in layers. The beauty of the Mark II is you can inlay continuous strands of different fibers, so it includes carbon fiber, Kevlar, fiberglass, and high-strength, high-temp fiberglass. All unique properties, all got their own applications. And the beauty of this additional strength is you can actually, you can actually print parts that are stronger than aluminium, and thus you can um, you know, potentially replace vice jaws on machines. And instead of breaking a production machine down to produce this tooling, you can set it away on a printer. Wonderful, thank you, Tom. Any questions afterwards? Tom Shaman. Next up then, we're gonna go over to Nathaniel. So how does this machine fit? Because we've got this machine up on a stand here, but then this one over here, which we'll come on to in a moment, is almost backwards to this one. So we'll go through that. Yeah, so this is the X7. This is the bigger brother to the Mark II. Um, so what we have with this is a 2.5 times bigger build volume than the Mark II. Uh, we've got more functionality and um, more access to a wider array of materials. Uh, this is a machine really built for industry. Uh, so we're looking at those um, industrial applications, you know, in workshops on factory floors where you've got jigs, fixtures, tooling. Um, as Tom mentioned, the onyx material is incredibly hard wearing. Uh, it's chemically resistant. So uh, if you're putting it into those, you know, hard wearing applications, you know it's going to work. When you say chemically resistant, go into that a little bit more. What's the benefits of that? Yeah, so uh, if you're putting it into sort of machining operations where you've got cutting fluid going onto the parts, you need to be sure that they're not going to break down. Uh, so with the onyx material reinforced with that carbon fiber, you have that strength and you have that reliability of tools. Okay, and the materials that you can use? Yeah, so as, as we mentioned, the Onyx um, actually has a flame retardant uh, version as well, which obviously is great for it. just opens up applications such as aerospace, rail, where you need that third party V0 rated fire retardant. Um, and also for electronics applications as well. So, you know, where fire's a risk, that's where the Onyx RF, uh, FR fits in. Okay, so we've got the little brother, the daddy. The big brother. The big brother. And so this is the daddy over there. This one's the daddy. Go on then, explain more about the daddy. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is the Metal X. Uh, so this is where we're actually now printing uh, in metals. So we've got a metal powder bound within a polymer wax. The, the Metal X is a process um, developed completely by Mark Forge. It uses uh, atomic diffusion additive manufacturing. It's a three-part process. So what you can see here is the first step. This is the printing. We're taking materials that have been developed and established uh, within the metal injection molding industry over 30 years. So we've got 30 years of heritage. Uh, all they've done, all Mark Forge have done, is taken the expertise uh, that they've mastered, the fused fabrication, uh, fused filament fabrication, that they've mastered on the composite series, applied it to printing. So they print out the materials from metal injection molding. Uh, we take it to a wash station where you wash away the wax and then you take it to a sintering oven where we're actually burning out the plastic and sintering the powder together. So if someone's going to invest in a machine like this, tell us some of the applications or why they're going to invest in this machine. Yeah, so for the Metal X specifically, you're looking at sort of the high value, high complexity components that are an absolute nightmare to machine, might take multiple operations, gonna be you know, very expensive to do, you just print them, exactly. They're time consuming, you just print them, you can print it overnight, come in the next day and you've got a part ready for you as opposed to having to you know set up a machine to do so brilliant thank you can we please give nathaniel and tom a huge round of applause thank you 